the guys this morning? Good. Um, everybody's ready to go. You know, everybody believes what what we're going to do, and I'm feeling good about it. Coach Kerr said a couple of times yesterday, you got to win game five before you get to game six and seven and so forth. Is that a message that he's been sending to you guys, or is that even a message he needs to tell you guys? No, he hasn't really sent that message. He just said, you know, we got to get back to being who we are. You know, um, last two games, we haven't been ourselves. We just got to be, you know, the team that's we've been the last two years. And if we do that, we'll be fine. You like being on the edge with you know, one flagrant from suspension and with the, the technical count up. How can you be who you are you know, given those restrictions? You know, um, at the end of the day, the game is going to be the game, and everything that's going to happen is going to happen anyway. So I just got to play and be me. Yeah, but you look at the last couple of games, video and film of that game. What are you seeing that surprises you? Like what you guys have done and not done? Uh, I mean, we're not competing. You know, we haven't competed the last two games. We've competed in spurts, but not at the level you need to compete at to win and at this point in the season, and especially not on the road. So we got to compete and have fun. That's the two most important things for us. How do you combat these guys on the boards? I mean, how, how do you compete. have to do You compete. That's all it is. I mean, at the end of the day, it's who wants the ball. So you competing and you want the ball, you'll get it. Right now, they've wanted it more than us. And we got to, and we'll be better with that. Chairman, there were reports out there about Steph was playing hurt, et cetera, not in focus on he, you know, he doesn't discuss it, but what do you see in him? Does he, well, how does he look to you? I'm not sure if he's hurt or not. Um, had a bad game. Happens. What, where, where do you see you need to uh, play better? Or what areas do you feel like? Um, like I said before, I just got to be me. You know, my spirit, my my edge that I bring to the floor. You know, if I, if I bring that edge, which I will, everything else will fall in line. I think it all goes hand in hand. You said that a couple of times, you just need to be yourself. Steve said that. When, when you watch yourself on film these last couple of games. I don't know. <laughs> and I refuse to see that guy again. What's missing? Me, I'm missing. <laughs> so I'll be better. I'm fine physically. I mean, it happens, like I said, but it's how you bounce back from it. I mean, it's always good to get some home cooking. You know, uh, be in front of your home crowd, and you know, we got to bring in some energy to this building, and then we bring the energy, and we can also feed off that. You guys usually switch everything when you go small, but you haven't always been doing that when Durant's been involved. Is that like a call that you make on the floor, or is that sort of planned for you? We just got to play how we play, you know, use our instincts on the floor. If that is to switch, switch. If not, not. But whatever we do, we got to do aggressively. I don't think we've done anything aggressively. You know, if you make mistakes and you make them aggressively, you live with it. But if you make a mistake and you're trying not to make a mistake, that's when you can't live with it. So everything we do, no matter what it is, it just got to be aggressive. You don't normally play as the underdog. What's that going to be like? I think at some point in their career, everybody on this team has been an underdog. It's nothing new now.